Hey everyone, so I'm a huge fan of Sam Cedar, and I wanted to play this clip for you guys because I've honestly never heard someone critique this notion of cancel culture in the way that Sam does here, and I, I just feel like he really... It, it, this is a refreshing argument, so I want to share it with you guys and then come back and talk about the whole notion of cancel culture. And then Sam talks a little slow, so I'm going to play this clip at 1.25 speed. Let me just preface by saying, are there instances in society where people overstep? Yes. With that said, there, our society has always been canceled culture. Our society, in fact, the people who are getting canceled now, whatever that means, it is because there has been a, a change over the past eight years, let's say, four with Obama, four with Trump, maybe a little bit longer, whatever you want to say when the, 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 the threshold was, where what we as a culture have deemed to be appropriate right. has changed. Right. That doesn't mean you get, you get arrested. It just means that you are left out of the conversation in some ways because we don't we, we just don't appreciate it. as a culture. These are people who uh, they got canceled because they rose at a time where there was a different sort of set of standards and parameters for, for culture. But the fact is, there's a whole host of people who weren't in a position to get canceled because to continue the uh, TV parlance, their they, their pilots never got picked up. Right. They were shut out from day one. The, like. Show me the leftist who has been on those pages of the New York Times. Like a genuine left. Never, 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 never. And so they, they're not even in a position to get canceled because they don't get, they don't get picked up. We have had cancel culture or, or, or the prevention of people rising because of what they believe throughout our history. It's just that those people who, got, uh, were, 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 uh, who were suppressed, you know, believed in equal rights for people or were black or were women or were gay or trans or whatever it was. And now that the, the people who have been were marginalized all those and kept out of the conversation have moved in, um, right. people just don't like who's now, wh who, can, who controls the culture. Yeah. And so, I mean, I love that. I think that that was so spot on. And like I said, I've never heard someone kind of take that stance on it because normally the critique I hear from the left, and I honestly tend to agree with this, is that cancel culture largely is not a good thing. Like we don't want to like, I mean, if we believe in, you know, just for example, and like if we're talking about prisons and stuff, if we believe, you know, the, no life sentences or things like that, you know, we believe that you know, prison, uh, prison should be based on, you know, kind of like redemption and not like this, uh, Retri retribution the way that it currently is then like why do we think that like someone should never be able to work again if they like you know did had some faux pas 20 years ago and so that's normally the critique i've heard from the left when it comes to cancel culture and that's what i largely agree with but i do like what sam cedar has to say here and i completely agree that there has always been this cancel culture and it just used to be done in a different way and that cancel culture for most of you know at least in the u.s was used against the left and it was used against minority groups and um it, that's so true and he's and he's exactly right that like i mean these are people who i mean cultures do change and that's kind of what we're seeing to happen is that some things just aren't acceptable anymore you know you can't just say the n-word and that's a good and that's a good thing that is a that is a step forward in the culture that is a positive step and so it's just like there are some people and, and you know does it have some kind of negative effects but it's just like there are people pretending that this is some new thing that the, like the radical left is doing. And honestly, I had heard that before, and the, honestly from Sam Cedar as well, when it came to identity politics. And it was that the right also used to play identity politics. And that was just, oh, well, just only white people could run for office or only men could w run for office and, and things such as that. Um, and that's totally that that is exactly true. That is also identity politics. It's just different than the kind of identity politics politics that are used today and just so i really wanted to share this clip just because i feel like sam does a good job at like taking these almost unique spins on things that i honestly maybe i mean maybe i'm way off maybe people say this all the time but i've never heard someone say it quite the way that sam does here and i really enjoyed it so i hope you guys enjoyed this clip and found it um somewhat interesting i um, mean if you disagree with anything i or sam say please leave a comment down below let me know why um but if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe and have a great day